Hello guys, this is Jyoti Swarup. Welcome to my channel Study with PJs. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about the other two examples of electrovalent bond and also about the covalent bond. We have in our previous video we have already discussed about chemical bond, what is an atom, types of elements that is metallic and non-metallic, and chemical combination and what is electrovalent bond and we have already seen an example of NaCl we will see an another two examples in our today's video let us start now the two examples which we are going to discuss are CaO that is calcium oxide and MgCl that is magnesium chloride okay so first here Ca calcium is an metallic element okay this is a metallic which has tendency to lose electrons and which is a cation which have positively charged and coming to the oxygen this is oxide this is a non-metallic character which have tendency to gain electrons and which is an anion negatively charged okay what is the electronic configuration of calcium that is 2 8 8 2 which means uh, there are two electrons in its first shell that is k shell in l shell 8 m 8 n 2 okay so when coming to the electronic configuration of oxygen that is 2 and 6 2 in k and 6 in L shell so what is the nearest noble gas of calcium that is argon okay so it need to lose two electrons so that it gets stable configuration and what is the nearest noble gas of uh, oxygen that is neon so it need to gain two electrons as this is a metallic character and we are studying about electrovalent bond this gives two electrons to this that is calcium gives two electrons to oxygen and both of them get stable configuration and form CaO okay when calcium gives two electrons to uh, oxygen then the electronic configuration of calcium is 2 8 8 it uh, got stable configuration and the electronic configuration of oxygen is 2 6 uh, actually it was 6 and when coming two electrons uh, here it becomes 8 and it, it also got stable configuration okay now I will show an example for better understanding see here calcium has two electrons in its outermost shell and oxygen has eight electrons in its outermost shell so cation is an cation has a, a oxidization reaction and it is an metal it gives these two electrons to oxygen to get stable configuration and oxygen has six electrons in its outermost shell and it takes these two electrons and gets a stable configuration so that calcium becomes 2 plus and oxygen becomes 2 minus and the bond formed is CaO and this is orbital structure with a dot representation see here calcium has a two electrons as we have saw as we saw here uh, calcium has two electrons in its outermost shell which is given to oxygen and the bond formed is CaO where calcium got 2 plus and oxygen got 2 minus okay that is about CaO now moving to MgCl that is magnesium chloride okay now we will learn about MgCl2 so MgCl2 means magnesium chloride here Mg is a metallic character which have tendency to lose electrons becomes cation by having positive charge while coming to the chlorine it is non-metallic character 
which have tendency to gain electrons which is an anion having mm, negative charge now what is the electronic configuration of uh, magnesium electronic configuration of magnesium is 2 8 2 electronic configuration of uh, Cl is 2 uh, 8 7 so see here uh, there are two chlorine electron sorry two chlorine atoms and one mg atom okay so one mg atom and two chlorine atom so what is the nearest noble gas of mg that is neon okay what is the nearest noble gas of uh, chlorine that is argon okay so here it has two electrons in its outermost shell and it need to give or lose that two more two elect uh, two electrons so that it gets stable configuration and these cl have two eight seven so it need to get one electron to get stable configuration so there are two electrons in its outermost shell of mg and there are seven electrons in its outermost shell of chlorine so there are seven electrons in outermost shell of chlorine so what does this mg do this magnesium gives one electron to one cl and another electron to another cl so all of these get stable configuration and a compound formed mg cl2 okay we have already learned all these uh, um, examples in our previous chapter now i will show for your better understanding with an example see here mg is a cation and cl are anion here this is plus positively charged and minus charge i have already shown there are two electrons in its outermost shell okay only in outermost shell here two and it has seven electrons in its outermost shell so by giving this electron to each other they get stable mg gets stable stable configuration and it also get two plus and this is minus charge one minus so all together it forms mgcl magnesium chloride uh, you can see also see the uh, orbital structure with dots see here it has one electron sorry seven electrons in its outermost shell and this seal also have seven electrons in its outermost shell magnesium has two electrons in its outermost shell so this gives one electron to add to get stable configuration and also gives this so magnesium gets stable configuration and also get all the all the two uh, chlorine atoms also get stable configuration so that uh, all of uh, them together mg gets a uh, plus two cl one minus one minus all together it forms mgcl compound okay now moving to covalent bond here we have already learned about electrovalent bond what is electrovalent bond uh, metallic character gives uh, atom uh, so electron and uh, non-metallic character receives but there is a difference in covalent bond in covalent bond one electron is shared by both atom okay one electron is shared by both the atoms okay i will show let us take the example of hydrogen okay so it is h2 here this is the nucleus it has only one shell that is k shell and h2 there are two atoms so we need to draw another orbital structure this is the nucleus and this is the k shell here to get stable configuration both of them need two electrons but each of them had only one electron so these two electrons will be shared by both of these atoms okay see how this is the k shell 
this is also for the casual this is the hydrogen nucleus this is also the hydrogen nucleus and there are two electrons are shared by both of them there is a stable configuration there is equal share of uh, uh, electrons and this is also a covalent bond okay now let us see another example that is cl2 okay so cl2 have uh, how many electrons in its outermost shell there are seven uh, uh, seven electrons in its outermost shell say one two three four five six seven and another nucleus as there are two atoms and another uh, shell one two three four five six and seven so to get stable configuration both of them need eight then what does they do here they have shared the at one atom among them but they can't share seven atoms among them what does they do they share these two atoms among them okay so they form this is the k shell this is the another k shell this is the nucleus this is the another nucleus shared by both of them so here there are eight electrons one two three four five six seven eight this got stable configuration and these two have eight electrons and uh, what stable configuration both of them got stable configuration and both of them are covalent bond these types of bonds are covalent bond as well as non-polar covalent bond okay non-polar covalent bond okay these types of called one uh, atom of two means hydrogen there are two okay there are two hydrogen atoms there are two cl atoms okay if there are two atoms of a same element that is called non-polar bond but if there are non-polar covalent bond if there are different they are called polar we will see examples of polar before that I will show a better examples of this okay with a with the orbital dot structure see here this is H2 has one electron in its outermost shell one electron in its outermost shell both are sharing and formed H2 this is the orbital structure of dot structure okay so had one electron in its outermost shell that is K shell and another electron in its outermost shell so both of them formed and molecule and for combined and formed hydrogen molecule which is H2 which is a non-polar covalent compound now coming to the Cl2 that is uh, Cl2 chlor chlorine here in Cl there are seven electrons in its outermost shell and these also have seven electrons in its outermost shell okay both of them combined or sorry both of them had um, utilized one electron and formed uh, shared one electron and formed Cl2 compound okay and this is a non-polar you can see the dot or uh, dot structure there are seven shared by both of them again seven formed Cl2 okay so these are the examples of covalent bond now we will see non-polar in our next video okay we will see about non-polar in our next video thank you guys please like share and subscribe